purpose. To accurately assess if blood pressure falls when client sits or stands. This is usually result of peripheral vasodilation, in which blood leaves central body organs, especially brain, and moves to periphery, often causing person to feel faint. Delegation. With appropriate education and supervision, unlicensed assistive personnel can assess clients' orthostatic blood pressure, always check agency policy and applicable scope of practice. Preparation. Provide for client privacy. Identify client and introduce self. Assess client for factors affecting blood pressure assessment. Age. Systolic and diastolic pressures are usually elevated in older adult. Gender. Women generally have lower blood pressure than men before menopause. After menopause, women's blood pressure is higher than before. Race. African American males over age 35 have higher blood pressures than European males of the same age. Activity. Physical exercise elevates blood pressure. Stress. Increases blood pressure. Medications may increase or decrease blood pressure. Client's position. Legs crossed at knee can elevate blood pressure. Maintain client's arm horizontally at heart level. Blood pressure reading varies when arm is placed above or below level of the heart. Select appropriate site for blood pressure assessment. Understand implications and contraindications for use of each site. Do not use site if client has had breast surgery on that side. Client has intravenous infusing in that arm. Client has fistula used for dialysis in that arm. Prepare client. Most common position is lying or sitting, although client can be standing. Expose site where cuff is placed completely. If using upper arm, forearm should be at heart level and palm facing up. Obtain estimate of systolic pressure. If not done first, client's systolic pressure may greatly be underestimated. Estimate by palpation of either brachial or radial artery. Check client's vital sign flow sheet for last blood pressure measurement data. Review orders related to blood pressure assessment. Explain the purpose and describe the details of taking blood pressure in several positions to client and significant others as appropriate. Perform hand hygiene and adhere to standard precautions. Hearing sounds of blood pressure, listen to onset, change, and disappearance of sound of blood flowing through artery below blood pressure cuff that is being deflated. These are Karotkov sounds. Nurse will hear tapping sounds that change in intensity and character and murmur, which is either present or absent. Sounds are divided into five phases. First phase, onset of tapping sound, happens because of sudden distension of artery. First sound considered to be systolic blood pressure. Second phase, a murmur is added to tapping sound and tap is less evident. Third phase, a loud and high-pitched tapping sound. Fourth phase, tap becomes muffled. Fifth phase, disappearance of sound. This is considered to be diastolic blood pressure. Listen, Karatkov sounds are heard at end of narration. Prepare equipment. Aneroid sphygmomanometer. Proper cuff size. Bladder width should be 40% of circumference of limb on which it is used. Length of bladder should be long enough to almost encircle limb, cover at least two-thirds of its circumference. If cuff is too small, false high systolic reading will occur. Stethoscope with dual head, bell, and diaphragm. Hi, I'm Emily and I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi. I hear that you're feeling a little dizzy when you stand up. Yeah, I have been. Okay, well we're going to do a series of blood pressures on you. The first is going to be lying down. The second, you're going to be sitting on the side of the bed. And the Don clean gloves if the nurse has non-intact skin on her hands or if contact precautions are ordered. Then check the client's identification. 
Sure, my name is Samantha Smith, and my birthday is January 4th, 1985. Good. Perfect. Raise the bed up, and put the side rail down. Begin by assessing the client's blood pressure and pulse with the client's supine, or lying on her back. Be sure the client has been in this position for at least five minutes before taking the initial blood pressure. Start by taking your heart rate. Okay. Just a few moments, and then I'll t and then I'll put you in a sitting position. Okay. Help the client up to a seated position. Be alert to signs and symptoms of dizziness. stable and uncrossed. The client's feet should not touch the ground. Adjust the height of the bed if needed. Place the arm you will be using flat on a bedside table or flat surface. After two minutes, measure the blood pressure and pulse again. Second blood pressure now. stand up and wait just a few moments. Assist the client to a standing position and wait another two minutes before taking the blood pressure and pulse again. Yeah, thanks. And same thing, I'm going to have you rest your arm on the table.
continue to rest the arm on a bedside table or flat surface. Record measurements and any symptoms that accompanied postural changes. The client may have orthostatic hypotension if there is a drop in systolic pressure of greater than 25 millimeters of mercury and if the heart rate increases greater than 15 to 20 beats per minute. Help the client back into bed or her original position. and the doctor will be in in just a few okay. minutes to see you. Thank you. You're welcome. Post-procedure. Perform hand hygiene. Assess client's response to the procedure. Put side rails up. Put bed in low position. Place call light, water, and personal possessions in client's reach. Discuss when you will return and give any instructions to the client. Documentation. Follow institutional guidelines. Document. Systolic blood pressure as number at which sounds begin. Diastolic blood pressure. American Heart Association recommends using fifth Karatkov sound as diastolic pressure in adults and fourth Karatkov sound as diastolic pressure in children. In adults, if fourth and fifth Karatkov are 10 millimeters of mercury or greater apart, note all three readings. Radial pulse. Any actions taken as a result of assessment. <laughs> 